Hey guys, welcome back to Dad LP Show. The name of the game is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword for the Wii. In the last episode, we returned to Skyloft to place the ruby tablet in the altar beneath the statue of the goddess and open up a new column of light leading to the Elden Province, which is our next destination. However, our trip there was quickly interrupted with reports of a missing child, Kukiel. So we searched for Kukiel. We found Kukiel with Batro, a local monster who wants to be a human. And he said that if we go around helping people, we can get gratitude crystals. So we returned Kukiel to her parents, got five from her mother, and returned back to Batro for a reward, which is a handy big wallet. Or I believe it's called the adult's wallet. What did I get? I keep opening up the wrong menu. What exactly is the wallet called? Oh, the medium wallet. All right. Plus the extra wallets we have, so we can carry quite a few rupees. Alright, so we were headed back to um, Elden Province before we were interrupted by this guy here who wants to help, uh, who wants us to help find his missing sister. And he says he always has her take a bottle of potion, but he forgot to tell her, and she's interested in a colorful island off to the, southwest, off to the southwestern skies. So, well, let's investigate that. He said bottle in red letters, which means that it's important, so maybe we can get one of those from this side quest. I don't think it's much of a spoiler, but yeah, we're going to get a, a, new, a new bottle from this side quest. Alright, Southwestern Skies, huh? Wrong menu, huh? Alright, well, here's a colorful island, so we'll set a beacon right there. Even though that's not exactly where we will be heading. We'll be heading close to it, though. Let's hit this booster stone, or whatever they're called. They have a proper name, I just... I can't remember it right off the top of my head. Alright, there's the uh, beacon over there, but the island we're actually looking for is right here. And if you look closely, you can see her there with her apparently downed bird. Might as well just take that beacon away, we're not going to need it. Oh, what's wrong? Whoa. Your bird has the same hairdo as you, kind of. It's got the pigtail, you got two. Well, if it isn't Link, I'm so glad you're here. My bird got injured while I was out for a quick flight, and now he can't fly. I somehow managed to make a crash landing here, but now we can't get home. I can't go home until my bird's better. I need medicine to get him healthy. Of course, it can't be human medicine. It has to be bird medicine. Hey, Link, I really need your help. Will you get some bird medicine for me? Of course. <laughs> Thank you. You're a real lifesaver. My older brother has some bird medicine. Just go find him and he'll give you what I need. I bet he's probably pacing around the plaza in Skyloft waiting for me to come home and being worried out of his mind. Huh? Really? You already spoke to him? Well, that makes things easier. I'll be waiting for you here with my bird. Hurry back. So yeah, if you ignore talking to her brother and you're just flying about and you spot her here, you can trigger this same side quest just by talking to her. And the dialogue is going to be slightly different, but it's all going to end up being the same result. So we're going to head back to her brother who we met in the plaza, so I'll see you there. Okay, so here we are and there he is. So let's see what he has for us. What? You found my sister? Her bird's injured and can't fly? That's terrible. In that case, take her this as quick as you can. These are mushroom spores. They will heal the bird's injury. You got some mushroom spores. These spores... These spores from a giant mushroom are said to work wonders on injured birds. From a giant mushroom? I don't see any giant mushrooms here in Skyloft. If she uses this, it will quickly heal the bird. She should then be able to make her own way home. Take it to my sister. You can keep the empty bottle once she's had the chance to use the stuff inside. I'm counting on you, Link. Alright. So, let's head back to her. Alright, here's your mushroom spores. Oh, mushroom spores. What a relief. You brought the medicine. Thank you. Now I can heal my bird's injury. Mm. Now my poor bird should be healthy again in no time. <laughs> oh. 
I was beginning to think we were doomed. You've saved my life and my birds. We both owe you a big thanks. And we got five more gratitude crystals. That makes 10, so we should be able to return to Batro to grab something. Here we go, see you back in town. Seems like there's this whole motif about the birds' hairdos matching their riders. I mean, Groose's bird with his pompadour. Anyway, I will meet you back at Batro's place. Oh, you've gathered quite a lot of gratitude crystals, haven't you? How magnificent. I've already read this kind of dialogue before, haven't I? All right, what do we have? A piece of heart. Well, that was well worth it. All right, well, we won't be able to grab anything else from him until we have at least uh, 30 gratitude crystals. So let's head out to the sky and to Elden Province. All right, well, there it is right there. That's where we need to be. Geronimo and all that. Master, this is Elden Volcano. It is an active volcano rich with the power of the earth. Looks more like it's enriched with the power of the fire. Approximately 65% of the region is covered by lava. It is inhabited by a large number of creatures that thrive in the extreme heat and direct flame. Please exercise caution with flammable materials such as wood and fabric, hence the iron shield. In the event you catch on fire, I highly recommend you extinguish the flames by performing a forward roll or a spin attack. Ugh. And this is all automated. I'm really wishing that there was a way to skip past it. Alright, very nice. Well, there's a save point. This will be useful. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Hello. Target lock. Red Choo Choo. The Red Choo Choo has an exceedingly high body temperature. Avoid all physical contact, or your clothing and shield may burst into flames. In the event you are set on fire, I recommend you quickly extinguish the flames by performing a roll. And I just remembered that I never scanned the green ones. So I'll try to get around to doing that eventually if we run into them again. Oof. Master, I require confirmation. You are currently attempting to ascertain the location of Zelda. Are you familiar with how to use the dowsing to search for... Yes! Of course you do. My apologies. Please continue your search for Zelda. Are you out of your damn mind? I mean... Ugh. Okay, there's trying to, you know, be accessible to a casual audience. And then there's just thinking that we're all four-year-old children. You are not Dora the fucking Explorer. Oh, look, a goddess cube. I will go for you later. All right, which way is Zelda? That way, so let's head there. Careful not to stay on these platforms too long, they will sink. Molly, molly, mollies. Hey, hey, you mess with our turf and you're gonna pay. Whoa, you're not. Yo, Len, I don't think this is one of those red creeps. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. No reason to scare the hair off us, though. Sorry about that, pal. These monsters showing up and messing with our turf has got me on edge. They show up here and I'm gonna knock the red clean out of them. That's what I'm doing here. Yeah, me. Yeah, me, Led. 
okay, that was hard to read. Yeah, whatever. Mr. Too Scared to Dig in the Dark. Anyway, if you're looking for treasure, you should stay clear of those red guys. Okay. So, they told us to stay clear of the red guys, so we're gonna go directly after the red guys. Come on. This is this is truly pathetic. Hey, where'd, where'd the other guy go? Hello? Okay, well, never mind then. Oh, these look familiar. Lock onto the thing. Jeez. Target lock. Fire keys. Found near volcanoes, these monsters are attracted to dark places such as caves. Constantly under combustion, they will turn anything on. Co they will burn anything on contact. They often gather in colonies, are active at night, and sleep in the day. Those who come too close and awaken them often fall victim to attack. Well, this sounds familiar. Well, that's about to change, isn't it? There's one. Anybody else want some? Who else is up next? Well, let's wait for those lava pools to receive. Oh, did you? Oh, I think it, I think it dropped something that we needed. Well, let's go get that guy first. Come on, you. Hmm, do, do I? Oh man, I'm so tempted. Oh well, let's go. What do you have here, breakable skulls? Well, that was a complete waste of my time. My valuable, precious time. Oh! Yeah, it might have been a good idea to wait for it to raise up, huh? Come on. Are you, are you going up? There we go. That means I'm going to have to wait for this to recede. So, hurry up with you now. Come on. Down you go. Thank you. Oh, what do we have over here? Do you have anything to teach me? Any kind of fancy tutorial? Huh? Who are you supposed to be? I've never seen you around here before. Whoa, hold it right there. Are you a friend of those red creeps? No way. You're not, huh? Well, you don't look like them, that's for sure. You're not that ugly. So what then? You here to pick bomb flowers? Yep. That's what I figured. You can pick up some pretty powerful ones in this area. Look, there's some right over there. Take as many as you want. I'm sure you already know this, but once you pick a flower with A, the fuse starts burning. Then it'll blow up in just a couple of seconds. Five to be specific. You can also toss or roll them. Just like you can with some other stuff. You should practice. Um, huh? You do know how to roll stuff, right? Yep. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Don't worry. Of course you do. Use the Wii Remote. Point it up and swing it forward to throw things. Point it down and swing it forward to roll them. You just felt like telling us the tutorial anyway, didn't you? Hey, I mean, hey, everyone knows that. <laughs> you know, I chose Yep to avoid being told how to do it. So that's the path that we need to take. But let's do things around here real quick. All right, grab a bomb, hold the Wii Remote straight up, and then flick it forward to toss the bomb. Anything of value up here? And eh, just five rupees. It's better than nothing. And to roll a bomb, once you pick it up, point the Wii Remote down at the ground, and then flick it forward as if you're playing Wii Bowling, and that's how you roll it. Ooh, that's a big guy. Let's do this to him. Gulp. That's how I felt after eating a habanero Slim Jim one day. Got a little hidden crevice right here. What's in there for us? Uh, just five more rupees, huh? Oh. And that's about it in this about it in this area, isn't it? We got some empty pots right here. Oh, a place to sit. I'll replace my one missing heart. Anything in here? Nope. All right, moving on. Oh, 
They're being really stingy on the monster claws today. Is that showing up on the map? No, it sure is not. How about now? Okay, now it is. Oh, what do we got here? A little hidden passage? I bet it's blocked with some rocks. Yeah, I can see them. Let's crawl through there and see what we got. Ooh, ooh, a new bug. Let's get him. You caught one Elden Roller. These small-bodied bugs roll a big ball of shit. The way they busily roll stuff back to their nest is quite adorable. It's not, it's not adorable to roll poop. Eh. Nintendo with the... You, you, try to, you, you try to get a little edgy and what do you do? Poop jokes. Really, it, it's not classy. I expected better of you. I mean, poop jokes, that, that that's, that's the kind of jokes I make. Oh, hello. I'm gonna send you to the sky for later. Ah, very nice. Hey, what do you have? Huh? Another stranger? And you're not one of those red creeps either. I swear, this neighborhood's getting crummier every day. Huh? Oh, nothing. Just talking to myself. Hey, I saw this funny dressed character go into that hole over there. Oh, really? It might be the friend you're looking for. You want to know what this kook was wearing? Let's see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the getup was blackish. Other than that, I don't remember much. Blackish, huh? I don't know anybody who wears that. Ooh, piece of heart up there. What are you? It looks like another Pokemon. Hmm. Okay, well, I can't get close enough to, uh, you know, scan it. So, it's hiding in that hidey hole. So, let's bomb it. Well, that's what you get for trying to hide from me. Oh, you. Well, these guys look a, a little new. Target lock. Red Boca Blend. These monsters have... Okay. I just thought they'd scan differently because they're holding a different kind of weapon. Come on. Enough with the text. Oh, that sucked. Come on, you're so slow. All right, this is not working. I'm going hardcore this time. You guys are dead. Look at that. Cracking up my perfectly good iron shield. I just bought this thing, you assholes. Oh, hello. Target lock. Pyro. This skittish monster prefers to hide in small holes or inside the skeletal remains of deceased creatures. Gross. Once the cowardly Pyro finds a small space from which to spit flames, it becomes unapproachable. You will need to employ a clever strategy to defeat it. Inflicting damage from a distance may be the only way. Alright, I know how to deal with these guys. If I could ever get up here, come on. All right, they got openings in the little carcasses that they're hiding in. So let's, okay, let's toss this bomb because the camera doesn't seem to want to let me aim properly. Come on, there we go. And once to you. Kobe. All right. I'll get that heart back. Those Bokoblins so rudely stole from me. 
Another bug. Oh. Too fast, too fast. Too fast. Gotta do this slowly. Sneakily. There we go. Anything in here? No? Oh, you're just gonna run away from me now, aren't you? Whoa! Dick. Well, that was not an intelligent move on my part. You know what? You, you die now. Let's grab this piece of heart. Well, at least it replenishes my health. Where was I? Not here. Okay, let's go this way. Hmm. Okay. Gotta run across these real fast. Oh, what's that? Yeah, sneak attack. Wait, we ain't one of those red guys. Don't creep up on me like that. I almost had to tackle you there. Didn't mean to tell you. Didn't mean to yell at you. But those red jerks moved in and have been stinking up our turf, you know. Oh, house out for you. They came up through that back hole there. So I sunk the road leading, leading it to the... It, ah. They came up through the hole back there, so I sunk the road leading it to leading to it in lava. That'll stop more of them from moving in, I'd say. I'm having a really hard time talking today. What is it? <laughs> Past two episodes I've seen we've had that problem. Of course, we can tunnel underneath it, so it's no sweat for us. Pretty clever, right? So stay away from the plug that's holding back the lava. It'll do more than singe your brows off by, by now. All right, so... The way we deal with that is to bowl a bomb right across these bones and blow it up. That drains out the lava and makes that road accessible. Can't seem to go this way. Not yet. And this looks like it's well from back the way we came. Oh, it looks like there's a goddess cube there. Some interesting stuff. So let's dive off. First, we want to try to veer over here because we got this blue chest. These chests usually contain special items, usually a random material. Ah, an Elden Ore. We need some of those to upgrade our iron shield. So that'll come in handy. All right, what else do we have here? Oh, I want to see if I can dive off to get to that uh, goddess cube right there. Can we make it? Oh, that hurts, but we made it. Alright, what else do we have here? Oh, bombs. Let's try grabbing some of those. Let's build up some, some momentum. There we go, barely made it, and we got a cracked wall down there. It's kind of hard to see, but no. There we go, and we get another blue chest. Oh, blue bird feather. 
So now I only have to hunt down one more blue bird, and then we'll be done with that. We only need four to upgrade all the stuff in the uh, that we need to. Ugh, can't talk. English not working. Okay, so if you don't get everything that you want to on that dive down, then you can take this air tunnel right here to return to the surface and try again. Let's hit up the save point here. Hmm, that looks interesting. Ugh, those creeps just shimmied in uh, and took over our territory. Yow! What are you doing here? Don't be sneaking up on me like that. Huh? You're looking for your friend? Can't help you there. Nobody's come through here, so... Maybe they went up the mountain from over that way. Ah. Wish someone would chase these clowns out of here. Wish granted. You, wearing the bandana. Eat it. Uh-oh, this sucks. This sucks. Come on. Stamina gauge. Not working. Run away. I will sue you. you hold on. Wait a minute. Somebody else wearing a bandana, huh? Yeah, and he keeps blowing a horn. Let's take care of him. You, dick, die. What? No? There, no more horn blowing for you. Why did you lock onto the other guy? There, no more horn blowers. Come on. That's it? All right. Whoa! You took out every last one of them. Need that heart. Anything else? All right, what do you got for me? You're one tough customer. Thanks for all your help. I don't blame you for not knowing this, but us Magmas always honor our debts. Let me give you something to prove it. Any special requests? Ooh, money! No. Better find a way forward. Oh, right. You're trying to find your friend, aren't you? In that case, take these things. There's something pretty special, if I say so myself. You got the digging mitts. Use these sharp claws to dig through patches of soft earth. Be sure to try digging with A anywhere you see signs that something has been buried in soft ground. With these, you should be able to get. Uh, you, with these, you should be able to get to the top of that ledge right behind me. Just try digging in that hole below the ledge. You're in for a surprise. I just hope your friend hasn't been captured by those red guys. Here's hoping everything's okay. All right. Well, before we go there, let's investigate this area a bit. What do we got here? A little gust of air. Another little gust of air. No. What do we got? Oh, more Elden Ore. Ooh, lots of Elden Ore. All right. Me, Reiki, very much. And we'll be able to get that chest in a little bit. I'll show you how. What we got here? Me, like you, lots of money. What's over here now? Ooh, big gust of air. Come on, climb the ladder. Ooh, you. I killed all your buddies, too. Come on. Oh! Come on, you with your friggin' delays with that club. This shield is really, really taking a beating. What else do we got here? Anything good? There's more pots. Nothing. Ooh, 
Let's have a sit. All right, we got two caves here. We want to take the middle one. And there's our blue chest. Excellent. Okay, well, those other two paths just lead you down to here. Or maybe they don't. Forget where they lead you. Well, they don't lead you to that blue chest, that's for sure. They lead you to uselessness. All right. Well, we're supposed to go down there, but I'm going to hit up this save point right over here. And just to let you guys know, over the next few days, I will be moving to a new place. So, there's going to be uh, a bit of a hiatus before the next update. So, now we're going to move on to the next area of the Elden Volcano. But that's going to have to wait until next time. And until next time, thank you for watching that LP show. Have a one that is good.